guys, it's Jordan, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really yummy popcorn, and it is so good, and I cannot stop eating it, but it's not just regular popcorn. It is caramel popcorn, and that's not all. It is microwavable, so you can do this whole thing in the microwave. It takes like 15 minutes at most to make, except for you have to like put it in the refrigerator for a little bit, but besides that, it's so easy. It may not be the healthiest thing, but it's so delicious, like... Um, I just feel like this is great during the winter month because sometimes, you know, if you just like snuggle up and watch a movie and make this popcorn and eat it and it is so, so good. Okay, disclaimer, if you have braces, this isn't good for your braces. And you probably shouldn't eat this if you have braces, but um, it's just too good to pass up. Let's just get started with the tutorial and the ingredients, so let's go. So you will need a microwavable bag of popcorn, some margarine, some brown sugar, some salt, vanilla extract, honey, one fourth and one eighth cup measuring cups and a spoon. And you're also gonna need a brown paper bag. And you'll find out what this is for a little bit later. So start by taking your bowl and put about one fourth of a cup of brown sugar into it. And make sure to really pack the sugar into it and then just put it into your bowl. Then using your margarine, take one eighth of a cup of that and make sure to smooth out the top and then just add that into your bowl. Next, just take your plain salt and there's not really any measurements for this. You're just going to want to pour in a little bit. It doesn't really matter however much salt you would prefer. Now you're going to be taking your vanilla extract and just pour in a little bit. It doesn't really matter how much. Again, this isn't really exact measurements, but yeah. Now just take your honey and pour in just as much as you would want. If you were to measure it, it would be about a spoonful, but it doesn't really matter however much you think, really. Then you're just going to pop that mixture into the microwave to warm it up and microwave it for 20 seconds. Then when you take it out, the mixture should look a little something like this. And you're just going to want to mix it up using a spoon. And the texture should look a little something like this. Then just take your microwavable popcorn and put it into the microwave to pop it. And make sure that the popcorn you get is plain because you don't want to have a lot of flavor on it and then adding more flavor. Mine had a little bit of flavor, but it wasn't very much, so it was okay. Then when you're done, you're just going to take it out and pour it into the paper bag. And then you're just going to take your mixture that you made earlier and using a spoon, just drizzle it all over the popcorn until the mixture is empty and you have it all on top of the popcorn. Then just fold up your paper bag and shake it all up so that the popcorn gets evenly coated with the mixture. Then you're going to want to take that and put it back into the microwave for one minute. Then take it out and give it a little shake to make sure all the popcorn is separated and put it back in for one more minute. Then take it out and pour it into the bowl of your choice. Then put it right into your refrigerator for about 10 to 20 minutes for it to harden. And when you take it out, it might be a little stuck together like this. You're going to have to kind of break it up a little bit. And then it is so good. And the longer you refrigerate it, the more crunchy it'll be. And it is so delicious. I cannot even tell you enough. I really hope you guys try this out because it honestly is so good. It takes, like, no time and it's in the microwave. Like, what is there not... Why is there a reason not to do it? Like, honestly... Please take a picture of it and send it to me on Instagram or Twitter at HowToByJordan. And I would love that. And you can also hashtag HowToByJordan or HowToByJordanDIY. You're doing it yourself. That's a DIY. Yeah, if you guys like this or you think it's easy, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I would really like that. So besides that, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye. So before I go, I just wanted to say that I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway when I reach 50,000 subscribers. So make sure to tell all your friends to subscribe because I really want the winner to receive their prize before Christmas.
Did you hear? To crunch. It's microwaved. You can't think. I really just can't think. That one was really good. So let's go. <laughs> Do that for. I'm not even getting up. <laughs> so this. It, I think it's pretty much related. Oh my gosh! It's so loud. <laughs> it's not like a toad. That's a crunchy one. I never know how to end videos. Cause I feel like it's too typical to just go like than that. Because it's just like so I feel like everyone does that. But like I can't think of anything else. Like if I just go like this, and that's even more typical. I honestly don't know what to Cause you hear the crunch. Like some people do that. They go like this. <laughs> what did that do? Like this and go. And then I come. Oh, I touched the camera. I'm so bad. <laughs> what am I even doing? I can punch the camera. Bye, guys. That's weird. Call me like a llama. Bye, guys. Oh, okay, guys. See ya later. That's not mine either. Bye guys. And then I go like that. Mm -hmm. but, but no one wants to see that. If you guys have any ideas, comment them down below. I don't want to get off bro. Because I'm so comfortable here. Okay. Bye. Mm. Whoa. I literally just fell. Okay. Bye guys. Hey guys, you have two options. A Click this box to check out one of my other videos, or B, click the bouncing subscribe button for more awesome DIY and beauty videos.